Okay, I had to take a little break there. Um, so there, there are those spaces in between the bottom string, and yes, the bottom string uh, can become uh, any string. You just continue the cage shape up from there and use this chart here <coughs> called a string circle. Well, look where we landed. Pattern extensions that are a magic circle do not overlap. They skip the middle cage shape. Cage 7 old pattern has sharing. Okay, that has to do with, with this over here. So we covered that. The bottom string rule can be applied to any string using string circle. I said we were going to get to that, and we're here. And this is hopefully the last segment in the hour, or the 110. Now... We start that shape on any string. All right, I had to zoom out. <laughs> so let's say we got a G shape here. All right, we look at where that G shape is six, seven root. Here, right here, six, seven root. Here's your G. Lone wolf is part of the tripentatonic. Okay. Now, according to the magic circle, a G shape is going to go to a D shape. So here's our bottom string, here's our accidental, and then starts the G shape, which E would become the second in that, uh, in that key. Um, that's if we were playing in D. He is the second of D. Well, that, that was kind of like useless information. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> six, seven root, and we skip one, two, three. But we could do that from any key, a, any string rather. According to the string circle, if we start a G shape, okay, from now each one of these is a string and really but it's only five of them which is interesting so if we start a G shape from say the third string so it's one two three it becomes an E shape <clears throat> all right and then according to the magic circle the E shape is going to go to a C shape now the E shape is seven root two the C shape is three, four, five. See how seven root two goes to three, four, five. And our G shape six, seven root goes to the D shape root two, three, four. See that? Isn't that easy? So let's look at that. Okay, sorry, uh, it's difficult for me because I wanna explain this Rather than play it, it's even more difficult because it's like a tuck your chin to test and then I cough. So we've got the 6 7 root going to the 2 3. And then up here on the third string, so string 1, string 2, string 3 from the bottom, the BD shape. Okay, 6 7 root. Follow that G shape from there. Alright, 6 7 root is, is, is a G shape. Okay, if we follow that G shape, we're going to get two, three there. You can tell right there it's fitting into an E shape because your E shape's root two, three, five, six root two, three. It's fitting right into an E shape right there. You can see. So it works. So that G shape from the third string, string circle, would say G. C E becomes an E shape. And of course, from the magic circle, uh, or uh, I'm not sure it's, it's a string circle. Um, oh yeah, from the magic circle. So going from an E shape to the next shape up becomes a C shape. Okay, so remember, here's our six root three. We're finishing up an E shape there. Okay, the bottom string now of the E shape that we're on is going to be here all right and then the next shape up there is going to be a c shape 
according to magic circle. That's just the next shape up because we're going horizontal. We're going to the right on the fretboard, climbing up there. Climbing up there. So what's interesting to note here is if we start uh, a, a G-shaped box here on the le on the bottom string and we want to start that from the third string the string circle says that's six their starting point the defining note of the G okay E is the sixth of G that's six on the third string goes one two three is located on the E box so there's your six right there you don't have to look all over for it you don't have to look all over for it. On the fourth string, okay, one, two, three, four. There it is in the A box, but it's saying it's a C right there. Okay, let's look at it this way. Here's your six, your defining note, six root, your defining interval for the G shape. So in the string circle, you have the G shape. No strings up is G shape. One string up is C shape. Okay, here's your C shape, and here's your, on, on the second string, here's your C shape, six on the second string. Okay, to the E shape on the third string, here's your E shape. Okay, and on the third string, your six is right there. Fourth string is A shape. Here's your A shape. And here's your six on the A shape. So you know where to start it from. So that works. That works. And fifth string going to be a D shape. Here's your D shape. Fifth string is going to be here. There it is. It's on your D shape. It ain't, it ain't there. It ain't anywhere near there on the fifth string otherwise. So you've seen me going, you know, hunting back and forth. Let me find the same note because I got all the notes labeled. But you don't have to know that, the, you know, you don't have to be labeled. <clears throat> they, you can simply use the string circle to find the note. Well, that's good. Okay, so things have worked out pretty well. So we know we're going to use the magic circle to go horizontally now. And we're not going to get all tangled up in, in the cage 7L diagram. Of course, you can go horizontally with an S3XL, too. An S3XL is just th these guys. It's just these guys. I'll put it right here. That's an X3XL. 567 root 23456. And you can go that 56 and it, it, on ad infinitum. You could just keep doing this 56 over here again. You know, this is getting a little out of hand, but. Okay, like something like this if you want that kind of horizontal motion, you know. I messed it up coming down there. Let's just talk briefly about how to um, come down from the warp. The way to come down from the warp is to go straight down and then towards the fret nut. The way to go up in the warp is to go straight up normal interval and then away from the fret nut. Okay, so this interval, okay, is going to be, all right, I got to get the right strings. It's between four and five, not between five and six. Hey, thanks for watching. I think we've covered what we need to cover here. And don't forget about my Facebook group. The link will be in, in the description below. Cut and paste it. And go there and join and I'll let you in.